video. In this video we are actually going to work on this surrounding here. So to get this all nice and covered up, just to be ready and we can get going with further on on the walls. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> would it have worked? It would. Probably. <laughs> Reassembly will be required. Happening. Forgot to screw that on. So it's two days later and this is nice and dry. We could do with a second layer but we could do that after. And we just wanted to secure it because uh, we don't know if it has woodworms in it. And we want to do it all from all the sides just to seal them in. And that's the best way to deal with it. And uh, kind of, you know, get them out of there. Not out of there but, you know, to suffocate. So yeah, that's now should be all good from all the sides. And also this should not rot if there is any moisture or something. 
uh, which does happen from windows sometimes. This window, as you can see, there's no moisture, no condensation being building up, which is good. That means that it's warm enough temperature and the dew point is not creating on the window, which is a very common thing if you heat up your house too much. And that's why we couldn't continue, because if we do anything here, uh, even put plaster near this, it would just get covered in dust and it would all stick and it would just dry into it and would not be able to do anything about it. So yeah, now we're gonna put here a uh, small wood, um, like make a frame around it and from that wood is gonna go to here like this and here we're gonna put some uh, rock wool insulation, it's gonna get pretty squishy but this here if you put your hand against this brick because it is a single layer brick so it's just this brick goes all the way to the outside it pretty much just transfers the cold really a lot and it's really cold that's why I did this really messy job of uh, putting all the spare uh, insulation and um, it's very messy but it does do the work and uh, yeah maybe it doesn't look the best and the most professional but yeah we're gonna now put this and um, then it's gonna be pretty much done and ready for plaster the hardest part is gonna be making the arc but we do have some plywood we're gonna use some plywood to make it or you could plaster the plywood but we could just simply do the ply uh, plaster board over it just to be more durable maybe so yeah let's get started and see how we're gonna make this So while trying to figure out uh, exactly the angles and how to make this all nice, uh, so we like the look of this, uh, which means you know it creates this kind of like going towards the window. It actually I didn't even realize it, but we made it perfectly flush with that line, um, which is really gonna look that tower kind of feeling like a castle type of feeling where they have these uh, kind of lookout towers. This was used for arrows and stuff, and um, then we're thinking the arc. And then, as you can see, the arc, if you have this arc like this, uh, following the uh, actual arc of the brick, it's going to leave a hole here. We could close it, but it's going to look quite... Um, yeah, it looks quite yeah, stupid. Not the best. So I was thinking we could also go like this, which kind of looks cool, I feel, right? And then we just need to do this angled. I don't know. I kind of really like the arc. Yeah. I don't know. It's like either like we keep the arc and make it flat, or make it angled and make it angled. You cannot really tell in the camera, I think, like the problem we're having. Yeah. Or we go all the way till the top. The, uh, this angle goes all the way till the top. And the arc just starts from here. But it's going to be very shallow arc. Um, Pretty much barely anything. But it is an arc. <laughs> I don't know. We have to figure that out and uh, let you know. But it's gonna go flash fully. Yeah. So it's gonna create that like everything pointing towards the window look. No? Uh, I don't know.
It's like doing crafts now. What's the point of making a straight line when... would look if it would be straight you see even though it has like the cool effect it's kind of ruining it but like that it's nice I also like that it's not like fully an arc, it's like kind of like a... I don't know. <laughs> Come on. So we are done and uh, yeah, as you can see that's the ending result of, uh, not the ending result, ending of plastering. Still have to uh, plaster everything, fill in all the gaps and then sandpaper it. Maybe you're gonna need sandpapering then plastering again because you know, sometimes you plaster it and you don't see how deep you have plastered it so you can do another layer. Because plastering is something that you can't do too big of a layer or it cracks and uh, is not the best. So yeah, you might need to do it twice. So otherwise, this was one of the most difficult things we have done in terms of um, figuring Probably out things. how to do it and to make it look nice. And uh, this wood, I don't know how we're going to recover it back to normal. But it's okay, they cannot, they cannot see it. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> that just got very dirty. We should have covered it with paper yeah. already. Um, don't know why we didn't, kind of uh, silly, but it's okay, we can sandpaper it back down if, if worst case scenario we sandpaper it and, and lock it again or it might just clean off and uh, no problem or vacuum clean, I didn't try either. But uh, yeah, it came out pretty good, I like all the shapes and stuff but I think it's really gonna start to shape up, uh, well shape you can see but it's gonna really be finishing touches once you plaster it and paint it. It's gonna be all smooth lines, you're not gonna see any of the gaps, it's gonna be perfectly smooth. I hope that we can master that, but it should be pretty easy. Uh, we have done the bathroom, which was a lot harder because the walls were completely sideways. There was giant holes, it was really hard to do. But versus this is pretty easy and simple. 
So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we did want to explain to you about that, but we're going to do it in the next video, how it's doing behind there. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Beautiful. I'm gone.